Yo, what is up? It's your boy, Matt Toner. Ooh, back again. <clears throat> Ooh, chop. Um, anyways, though, I am outside of uh, Publix right now. Right now, I'm just getting all of the things that I will possibly need for recovery, as well as a few things for my girlfriend and her sister because, um, they also need some things so I'm just doing all the errands right now but um yeah so I am getting mostly fluids liquids um my surgery is in two days um today is Tuesday um and I'll go more in depth and show you guys kind of exactly what they're requiring me to do um for prep for my surgery but um, starting tomorrow, I will be on a clear liquid diet, which basically means that um, for the entire day, I can only have liquids that are clear. Um, and the way you can make sure that they are clear liquid diets is, um, or part of the clear liquid diet, is if you can put them in a glass, um, a clear glass container. Um, you should be able to see a newspaper on the other side. Um, so fruit juice works, orange juice works, apple juice definitely works. So I got both of those two things. Um, Jello or gelatin, however you choose to refer to it as. Um, and obviously water, I'm going to have to stay quite hydrated. Obviously, um, for those of you who know that I'm very big into protein and you know working out protein is very important so I won't be able to have any of that so I've officially just decided to cancel my diet for today um, I will be creating a new diet plan for my recovery um, my goal will be to mostly just eat in a maintenance but I will be focusing kind of on weight loss at the same time um, if you know if you've watched me I did that for top surgery as well um, during recovery I just kind of ate however I felt and then just did a shit ton of cardio which works because cardio is good for recovery um, but yeah that's that um, I also am currently looking for magnesium citrate um, which will uh, help clear my bowels um, in preparation for um, my surgery. Um, I'll have to take that twice tomorrow and if for whatever reason it doesn't do what it needs to do, I will have to take an enema. Um, not looking forward to that, so I really hope this all kind of just works out the way it should. <laughs> I do not want to have my first enema be tomorrow or ever. Um, so that is that, um, and I will see you guys next time. Deuces. All right, everybody, I'm back. Um, I was very successful in getting all of my things. Don't mind me, my girlfriend is looking at me and laughing in the corner because she finds this very funny. Um, but yes, I did manage to get all of the things that I did need. Um, like I said, I had to um, just get mostly liquids because I'm going to be on a clear liquid diet um, tomorrow. Um, and then I got some prep stuff, which I will go over later. Um, mainly just kind of things for uh, recovery um, due to like bleeding and things of that nature. Um, one of the things that I did struggle to actually get was my magnesium um citrate citrate magnesium citrate um which is basically a laxative it like you're supposed to take it before you go into surgery like i said to clean out your bowels um and i got really scared actually for a second because i couldn't find it in the stores um several stores actually for whatever reason people are just buying it to clean out their bowels um because of fad diets um, so like I said, that's why I hate fad diets because they take supplies from people who absolutely need them You shouldn't be cleaning out your bowels like that. Anyways. Wow. I need a haircut. Anyways, don't look at that um, <laughs> I'm gonna tilt my head up so y'all can't see it um, but 
Yeah, that's it. Um, I did manage to find it. I had a scare though, because if I couldn't find that, um, I was gonna have to basically do nothing but enemas, uh, which I don't wanna do, like I said before. Um, or my surgery just would have been completely postponed. Um, so it's very good that I found some. Thank you, Walgreens. Shout out to you guys, the, you know, underdog of the industry because you're no longer on top, I guess. Um, <laughs> but yes, um, I will see you guys tomorrow where I will kind of go over and talk about like the different things that I am doing for my clear diet, um, as well as the things I'm doing to prep for uh, my surgery on Thursday. Peace out. My girlfriend really wants to say something, so here we go. This is, this is what she has to say. What do you have to say? You're on it now. I don't know. Uh-huh, got camera shy. And I don't have to take my brain. It's empty. But yeah, she she has been just relaxing and I've been taking care of her all day. That's why she's got, got surgery. Yeah, she's been through surgery. It's nothing but surgeries all week for my little clan. Um, so I've been taking care of her. That's why all of that stuff is over there. That's where I've been putting stuff in reach for her. Um, and she's got a ton of stuff. I went out and bought a shit ton of stuff, uh, which you can see right there. Just like a ton of water and other things. Um, yeah. All right, what is up? It is Wednesday, one day before my hysterectomy surgery. Um, and so I am officially on my clear liquid diet. I started that about, um, honestly, I started that like halfway through yesterday because I just, I just, A, wasn't really hungry like that, and B, I just wanted to go ahead and get it started and out of the way because I've been slacking on a few things with prep, not too many things, but enough that I, I don't want to risk not um, having, you know, everything else ready. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, today I will have to take my magnesium citrate, drink nothing but clear fluids, um, and I have to use this really amazing breath capacity thing you guys will see what that looks like um later on today um but yes today is wednesday what's up um and i will see you guys soon with more updates what is up um so like i said this is the breath capacity thing that they gave me um i don't know I'm obviously too dumb for the bag, um, but <clears throat> I'm gonna basically start out my day with this for prep. And all I have to do is just breathe into this. She kind of gave me a quick rundown. Comes with this little tube. Um, this is the mouthpiece. This is the part that I will insert into this. Just comes and clicks into this little hole right here. And what happens is she said to try and be sitting up as much as possible when I do it. And this expands just long. Anyways, <laughs> um, so gotta wait for it to come back down. But basically you would want to exhale everything that you have. Put this in your mouth. And it will move. Um, and it's basically going to um, measure how much you can inhale, which is the important part for setting my baseline. So, I'll hold this up so everybody can see.
and you want to try and basically hold it for as long as possible. This is also supposed to be helping train um, my lung capacity. She said anything above this 1000 mark right here is basically good. Um, and obviously I'm doing pretty well, I'm at 2000. Um, but I will just be doing this throughout the day. Um, she said do it for about five minutes um, or five times each time just to help set a baseline. And then um, after my surgery, I'll use this again to measure where my baseline is at. Um, so that's what this is. It's called a Hudson, it's a Hudson RCI 4000 um, Voldeline Volmetric Exerciser, um, which just exercising here in lung capacity. Um, but yes, I will see you guys next time um, when I am taking my magnesium citrate. Yay! <laughs> so, what is up everybody? Um, I am finally going to take my magnesium citrate. Not, yeah, citrate. Um, they told me to take 10 full ounces, so a full bottle at 2 p.m. and then a full bottle again of 10 fluid ounces at 5 p.m. Um, and like I said, this is supposed to just clear out your bowels um, for the surgery um, so there's nothing obstructing anything. Um, not doing this can actually put off your surgery. This is also part of the clear diet, the clear liquid diet that I have to take, um, which helps prep um, your bowels because there can't be any particles in your system if all you're drinking is liquids. Um, so if this doesn't work, um, they did tell me that I will have to take a pleat en enema, which I have said multiple times throughout this entire video that I really hope I don't have to do. So to make sure I don't have to do it, I actually ended up starting my clear liquid diet around 12 a.m. Um, last night. So I had dinner around like seven and that was the last thing I had. And since then I've just been drinking nothing but liquids. Um, so for instance, I started today off with literally Gatorade and um, some bouillon, beef bouillons, that's what this is, a beef bouillon cube, um, so beef broth, chicken broth, um, water, just nothing but pure liquids, um, and so yeah, I will um, take this, this will be the first time I've ever had one of these, so let's open one up. All right, so here it is. Oh, I didn't even check to see if it says shake well. Um, Saline laxative oral solution, lemon flavor. It's dye free. Um, generally produces bowel movement in one half at 30 minutes to six hours. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, what else? Shake well before using. Drink a full glass, eight ounces of liquid with each dose may be taken. Okay. That makes sense. So it also says for adults and children 12 years or older, 6.5 to 10 fluent ounces maximum, 10 fluent ounces in 24 hours. Um, I'm assuming that's for domestic use, uh, but since this isn't for domestic use and this is for a surgery, I'm gonna follow my surgeon's instructions. Of course, always follow your surgeon's instructions. Um, here we go. It's actually not that bad. It tastes like Sprite, but I'll drink all this at 2 p.m. And then I'll drink this other bottle at 5 p.m. Um, and I should be good to go. I was really expecting this to taste really awful. It really makes me salivate though. And it's really limiting, really tart. Ooh. Ooh. 
I got it. Yeah, but yeah, that was it. Mm -hmm. It's gone. So I take that and I continue my liquid diet as instructed. And, um, yeah. Everybody you hear in the background, that's my girlfriend, her sister. And their cat. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.